is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are he- here twice a day with quick hits. I'll uh, just bring you the latest in, in boxing news, keep you up to date. Two episodes a day, we come at you with quick hits. Uh, eight to ten minutes just to keep you up to date uh, with everything that's going on in the boxing world. Um, if that's the kind of content you're looking for, please like, share, and subscribe, and, and share with a friend, share on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing. 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, the first episode today, and we're going to do two amateurs. I'm going to do one tomorrow morning, and I'm going to do another one right now. Um, today uh, is going to be completely dedicated to the pro debut of former uh, amateur standout um, who had made the Olympic team. Keyshawn Davis made his pro debut yesterday at the uh, Canelo, Al- at the uh, Canelo Alvarez card in Miami. Looked really, really good. Uh, but we're going to get into it, and we're going to get into some comments that I made on Twitter that caused a little bit of a stir. I don't know why. Um, okay, so Keyshawn Davis, uh, one of the best amateurs, um, did really well in the world, at the international level. I had lost previously three times to Cuban Andy Cruz, um, and he's getting closer and closer. He's trying to get another year. Keyshawn Davis would have been approved. Uh, he's gotten better, and when the 2020 Olympics were supposed to roll around before the pandemic, this is a guy that's got a real good chance. That falls through. The Olympics falls through. It looks like he he's going to turn pro. He decides, no, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to uh, wait till 2021, go to the Olympics then. We still don't know what's going to happen in the Olympics in 2021. Um, and he's going pro. There's been some discussion, some things that weren't going right in Colorado where they were training. I don't know. All we know is that he turned pro. Um, and he's one of the best amateur fighters we've had in the U.S. in quite some time, and he was expected to make a good run at ending the uh, gold medal drought that U- that U.S. men's boxing has had. Obviously, women's have had, had gold um, recently. Um, but I compared his pro debut, the anticipation, just the anticipation of his pro debut, to that of um, Zion Williams in basketball, Zion Williamson in basketball, and Fernando Tatis in baseball. Uh, I mean, we saw Zion Williamson for a year at Duke. He was kind of a, a, a sensation of basketball heads his last two years of high school. Stephon Marbury said that he was already better than LeBron James when he was in like 11th grade. I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous. But there was so much hype. And then we saw that in bits and pieces at Duke. Okay, this guy is real. Uh, the same thing with Fernando Tatis Jr. in baseball. He was that good. He was 20. He's really like the best guy in baseball. And I'm not saying Tatis uh, that – well, Zion's not the best player in basketball, obviously. He's really good, though. Um, and I'm not saying that Keyshawn is the best boxer in the world already. Obviously, he's not. I'm just saying there was hype and anticipation in watching this debut. And for me, at least – this was the equivalent of that. This was the equivalent of watching Zion Williamson's first, Zion Williamson's first game. Zion's first game, did you think he was going to be better than Freak? Or did you think he was going to be better than uh, LeBron? Did you think he was going to be better than AD or KD? No, of course not. But he was so good, so young, that you wanted to see what he looked like on, on the world stage. And that's what we get to see with Keyshawn Davis. Now, look, it was his pro debut, so I'm not going to put a ton of weight into it. He did what he was supposed to do. He passed with flying colors. Um I don't really know what he could have done a whole lot better. We're going to get into it a little bit, but he did exactly what he was supposed to do. Does that mean I'm seeing the next great thing, the next great, next great world champion? Of course not. I I don't know. He's one fight in. It was his pro debut. I I don't know what the limit is, right? But he looks really good. Uh, First things first, he's very composed. He is. Absolutely composed there. He looks the part. He, he does not look like he was making his pro debut. It was beautiful combinations. Uh, he's really athletic and strong, first of all. So he's got uh, things that you can't teach. Um, he fires off beautiful combinations. Uh, he, can keep, he can walk in. He can keep you at the end of his punches. He can fight at all the ranges. Um, he's very confident in the way he walks you down, right? Uh, for someone who is still 21 years old, I believe, I think he just turns 22. Uh, he'll turn 22 in a couple of days, I think. He is really good at, at that. He's really confident. He, he trusts in what he can do, 
right? He walks his opponent down. Um, he fires off a jab. He throws really, really. He faints really well. He gets in and out. He picks his shots. He throws his he throws his combinations and picks his placement really well. He can split the guard. He goes down to the body, head body. He throws the left hook. Uh, he's got, this left hook might be something to keep your eye on, right? Uh, I don't know if he's going to be a knockout artist, right? Uh, but he's definitely got snap on his punch. He's got plenty of snap on his punch. I don't know if he's going to be a knockout artist at the highest level. But that left hook, he throws from a bunch of angles. Uh, that's something to keep your eye on. His left hook might be really, really good. That might be one of boxing's great punches as he develops. I'm not saying anything yet other than he's a great prospect. One of the best prospects we've seen in American boxing in quite some time. Um, like I said, his punch placement is good. His combos are good. Um, again, we don't know, really know how well his timing is, how well he can take a punch. Um, really, we don't know how he's going to react when somebody can, can box with them because it's a pro debut and he overmatched the guy he overwhelmed the guy he dropped them uh late in the first late in the second round about a minute left in the second round with a looping right hand put him down he got up he stayed composed you could see he was going for the finish but he was composed the whole time he was firing shots to the body they went back up to the head and forced the ref's hand to come in and stop the fight he closed the show like a pro um so look I, again, I can't say that this is the next great thing that we're ever going to see. What I can say is he passed all the tests, right? Like, he's not hype. There's substance there. Now, his, his, his ring IQ is there, right? Like, he, there's lots of things there that make me think he's going to be a good pro. But only times are going to tell on how he progresses. Um, I'd say he probably fights at 140, but we don't know exactly what weight class he's going to kind of mature at initially. Um, he's... He's got a good build. Um, he's 5'9", I believe. 5'8", uh, 5'9". Five, five, um, I'm guessing he's going to be 140. He looks like a 140 pounder, but we don't know yet. Um, but the skills are there. Um, so, again, I don't know where he's going to fight next, what weight or um, – but the skills are there. He's, he's going to be – it's a project. It's going to take time. Uh, but I look. I would think they're going to try to progress him relatively quickly, that he should be fighting – a high level of fighter, and I would say two years from now, so by 2021, 2023, I, I, I'd say this is probably a top 10 guy in two years' time if if he matures like you're expecting him to. Um, but he's really good. Let me know what you guys think. Were you as hyped on his performance as I was? Are you hyped on him, or were you as impressed with his performance as I was? I thought he was really composed. He looked like a pro. He looked like he'd been there before. The tools are there. The skills are there. The athleticism and strength and the snap on his punches are all there. Um, let me know what you guys think. Were you impressed as I were? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Remember, uh, Quick Hits comes at you about twice a day, eh, twice a day, Monday through Saturday, once a day on Sunday. Um, eight to ten minutes just to keep you up to date on all the latest in boxing news, ru news and rumors and updates. Um, so uh, follow me, like, share, and subscribe on all forms of social media. Uh, it is... February 28th, uh, 2021, and Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. We need to make that change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in uh, the class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.